Go to the tools panel of Affinity Photo and select the ellipse tool or any of the shapes, maybe a star or diamond, etc. So I'm holding down the shift, create a very quick circle. Now I filled it with red, I could fill it with gradients, you could fill it with pattern designs. But once you've done that, what you can do, you can go over here, layers panel, and there's a little effects just down the bottom, very tiny, click there, brings up the panel. Just closed it, obviously you can right click, layer effects, brings up the panel. As far as I'm aware, that's the only places, the two places it can be done, maybe there's some others. Please put in the comments below if you know of any others. What do you get? Blur, shadows, glows, Outline 3D, and I'm just going to run through them. So let's just go for outline first. It's highlighted. You can see it's highlighted there. That's the active panel. That's all the features there. You could say, click up here, the Gaussian blur. It's not active because it doesn't have this blue. Because it's not active, you can't change anything. You have to go up to it and then change it. So go to Gaussian blur, now change it. And you can apply it like that blur effect. You can preserve the alpha, which of course is, if you've got something inside there, an image or something, or gradient, then it would obviously have an effect. But of course, preserves out doesn't obviously blur in red. It's without seeing it around the edge, obviously beyond the edge, it doesn't make any difference. So you've got Gaussian blur, which I think is quite a nice little feature to add to layer effects. It's not in Photoshop as an effect. What you can do outer shadow, so you can go to outer shadow. Now all of these these ones here, if I just change your offset intensity, etc., and you've got angle, you can modify that. They're all the same. You've got color, click that so you can make it green, say. But also, the sliders, you'll notice they go up to 100. That one, some obviously go more than that. But what you can do, some of them, but not all, some you can put 500 in. So you can enter a bigger value than the slider. It still sits it at the maximum. And if you go back to it again, it puts it back to 100. But you can extend it beyond its limit. Now, out shadow, I'm not, want that, an outline. So outline is that the same. So you can push that to limit 100. And if you want to, you can say, oh, 400. And you can see so you can override it, push it up to limit. Now, opacity you can't. Obviously, opacity you can't put 101. It would be nice if you could. But also you've got here contour. And you can see you've got a gradient option comes up and you can change the gradient. Please check out my videos on gradients. And also gradient, which is a slightly different gradient, obviously. It's most top why they called it one gradient and one gradient contour. However, you've also got elliptical. Because in Photoshop, actually, they've got the same. They've got the like, star, sort of star burst or whatever it is, shape burst. And uh, they've got it at the end of this list, which would, probably would have made more sense. But anyway, you've got conical. And you can also modify various things. Obviously not in all of them, because if, uh, that would make no sense as well. Scale, next, you can see you can change that which is very odd since you've got elliptical as well, which basically does seem to be much the same thing. But however, you can see it's exactly the same there and you can move the offset. So you can create some quite interesting, unusual. And of course you can vary the gradient. So you can always just click on there, add say blue, and you can see you can create some variety of different designs. And you've got blend modes, you've got run through there, you can see that change if you go through there, as it flicks through, light and dark cut and so on. Alignment, inside, etc. However, outline, that's outline, covers that. Inner glow, so you go inner glow and what you can do, radius, and you can see the inner glow, it gives a sort of, of course the outer glow does the same, but of course it's not gonna be much effect, it's a white background. But you can see, you've got here, you can go for center or the edge. So you can click between the two, you can change the color. Oh, you know what, I want green. So you can create a nice green one, or you can change the radius and push it that way. Go for edge, push it that way, and so on. So you can create a nice little glow, an apple-like glow around the edge. So inner glow. Also, you've got inner shadow. Inner shadow is quite nice. So you've got radius, you can push those up again, and also intensity. Now intensity, keep it low if you wanted like a blurry. If you go intensity, push it up, it becomes sharp. So I'm just gonna go with that. And offset, again offset, you can go say, oh, 400. And you can see you get this lovely sort of arc design. It becomes this like moon kind of shape there, a red moon. And you can also change the angle. You can see as you move that around. Now, unfortunately you can't change the elliptical or the whatever. It'd be nice if uh, that was available in here as well. Color, gradient color would be brilliant. However, that's that. Now 3D. 
Well, actually, let's go with gradient overlay. Gradient overlay next, and you can see you've got gradients again. Now, unfortunately, you haven't got that uh, contour one. That would be really nice to have that in there. But you can see, again, you've got there scale, so you can make a nice elliptical design. Go that way. Radial. Again, looks exactly the same ostensibly, but of course it doesn't. It, you can see it's different, but it's just the actual design, the gradient shows you is, uh, so it's not a preview particularly, but you can see the result, of course, here. And you can also go for conical. Weirdly, there's no diamond one. I would love diamond one. That would be a nice one. But then again, I would love to see a fractal design one and loads of other type of gradients. And you can modify the angle as well. So you can see in great. Now you've got this sharp, sharp seam. Well, you can get over that, just go to the gradient, make certain that the end gradient, click there and make it black. Obviously it doesn't have to show anything as well. Just quickly click there and add another gradient. And you can see as you do that, you then get obviously a nice smooth gradient just by having the same colors at both ends to get that for the conical. And that's for conical color overlay, obviously, because let's just go for color overlay. Got there orange it's quite handy you've also got blend modes so obviously it blends between the color there and so on and you can see in the shadow there you can combine them obviously you've got color overlay color dodge and you can run through those and that will modify which is nice there is an order to it so of course you can see now you get this lovely purple design with this color and again you can vary these but go through those if you want to do that so you've got gradient overlay you've got this you've got that you can put them both on at the same time as well. All of these can be on. If you want all on, now I'm not certain how much it takes in terms of resources, but you can do it. However, Bevan Boss, that's quite a nice one. So Bevan Boss, you can run through it and you can see you get this lovely around the edge. That's for the pillow type. You can go for emboss and that's got a different design there and outer, which obviously is not so much use and inner. And you can see you've got a lovely bevel there. And you've got soften here, you've got profiles, so you can run through these profiles, get a nice sharp profile like that. You can also modify them as well, which is really nice. So you can just, you can't add, unfortunately you just get your list. That's it, you get your list. But what you can do is you can always click on it and drag and thing, but you can't, unless there is an option, again, please put in the comments below. If you know a way of storing it in this list, I don't think there is. And you can also invert it, so you can put it the other way. And you can also remove it if you want as well. And again, you run through these. So deselect that. Let's just go for 3D now. So 3D, again, it's the active one. It's on. And I can change the radius. And also what I can do, like with all the other ones, you can extend it. So put it... Now, I don't know if there's a limit. I think it's 1,500 or something. 600. So you can put it up to 600. Put it 1,000. I think there is a limit like that. And you can modify the soften. Profiles again, you can run through the profiles so you can get a whole variety of different designs just by changing the profiles. Or just go with the standard one there. Or just move it around like that and create. And you can create, of course, your own unique designs very quickly using that. And also you can change this. You've got also direction. You can move that around as well. You can see that changes. And also you can add additional light sources. So click there. You've got another one there. Of course, you can keep the same color, white. There's the white color there, but you can also click there and say, go for green or blue or whatever, or yellow. And you can see as you do that, you can change it and it creates some interesting color combinations. And of course you can add more than that. I don't know how many lights you can add. You can also modify the ambient light and things. So you can create a variety of different designs just by modifying this radius setting, all these settings as well. So I've done all that. Well, you've also got an option here for fill opacity. And the fill opacity doesn't seem to do much, you think. Well, you can. You can reduce it down. And you can see now you've obviously lost all the things. But some of them you can actually get some nice effects. So you've got there and you can modify direction. Again, that's the active one. You move that backwards and forwards. Change the radius. Maybe not make it 600. Maybe go the other way. Pillow. And so on. You can see you can create a variety of different designs just by changing that. That's maybe a bit extreme. 200 say and you can see the result there and again you've got outer shadow you can bring in as well if you want to you've got that lovely green appearing there change your opacity etc spinning wheel i knew i was going to get a spinning wheel at some point 
been having a few spinning wheels where it just uh, decides I'm going to think about it for a bit and you can change the angle and so on. And that's just the fill opacity. I think that's just a really lovely feature. Again, you don't have to do that. You can just push it up again, up to the limit. Click close. And that's a run through of many of the features you could. And of course, as with all these things, is you can always resize this design and you can also maybe link it. So you can go here and you think, you know what? Let's just go for layer and duplicate linked. You can create another one, vary that. And also you can go to, you know, it's uh, just, it's a layer. So you can go over here to layers and you can just say, oh, let's run through this and go for difference. And you can see you can create some weird and wonderful combinations. But because it's linked, if I click on here, bring this up again, I can go for 3D and the various options, they will all change. You can see they all become the same. So it's a great feature, linking them. You can combine them in different ways. And again, you've got fill opacity. You can always go that way. And you can see you end up all, again, change at the same time. And again, you can do duplications with that, move it around, edit it in numerous ways. And that's using that feature. But again, great sort of feature, FX, change it at any time. It's still live. So if you go off and you're working on something else, doing lots of other things, you can always come back and you can say, you know what, effects. Just click on there and you can bring it up again. You've got the layers menu. There's no options, unfortunately, for copying styles. It'd be really nice if there was a copy style. However, you can create a style. So if you've got a design that you like, you can just say create style. So you can always go to view, studio and styles. And you've got all these styles here. So you can, of course, you don't have to go through all the putting all the things, you can just go here to the styles and just apply it there. And you can see because they're linked, they change, which is quite nice. So you can run through, but they're all done, all using the features that are in this layer, layer effects. Always go up to the layer menu. It's not the layer menu. In Photoshop, it's in the layer menu. So you sort of tend to say, oh, I must go up to the layer menu. No, it's not in the layer menu right click or in the layer panel itself. And you can see it's just made up of all these settings. And you of course can take this design and tweak it. You can say 3D, well, I don't want this. Or I don't, I can move, change the direction. So you can see as you move it around, you get a different effect. Change the gradient. You think, you know what? I don't want that gradient. Don't want it to be pin light. I can go for overlay and so on. Or change the outline in the shadow, change things. Click close or go and apply another one aluminium say or 80s gel style apparently anyway hope you found this of interest thank you much